several names there, Magic, Jordan, et cetera, Sell. Mm. Does Steph Curry dominate like those other greats, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, et cetera? No, no, he doesn't. I don't know what we're doing here, but we're going to do it. Uh, let's just take Michael Jordan, for example, okay? Obviously, the gold standard when you talk about success in the finals, no game seven, six finals MVPs, et cetera. Let's break Michael Jordan down into different attributes and see if Steph Curry measures up. Uh, in terms of mentality, different mentality. Like, Michael Jordan, to me, is the alpha male capital, every letter in alpha, right? He was able to dominate and defer at times, but never questioned was he the dominant force for his team. That's not the same for Steph Curry. Whatever you say his mentality is, he dominates at times. Yeah, he defers, but there has been question if he's the dominant force on his team. Okay, let's talk about offense. The highs of Steph Curry and his great, tremendous shooting ability and him hitting a three-pointer and running around, setting it, making the spacing open for his team. Offensively versus Michael Jordan. Come on, man. We know Michael Jordan higher pitch offensively. Defensively, we're not even going to have this conversation. I'm not going to waste breath. Steph Curry is not Michael Jordan defensively. So where does he measure up? I could do this for every one of the names mentioned by Steve Kerr. So we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is focusing on, as well, what Steve Kerr tried to do and handicap this situation. But Steph is little. Steph is small. You know what I get tired of in this world? The small tent conversation. I was growing up, and I was starting to hear people put me into small tent conversations. Marcellus, you're going to be the first one from your family to graduate. And I was like, that's great. And I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to pump me up and say, that's an accomplishment. It is. But it's a small tent conversation, small tent accomplishment. Because this world is bigger than just that. Oh, Marcellus, you're the first black. Oh, wait a minute. You're trying to put me in that. There's a world greater than just the black experience. So what they're doing with Steph Curry is the same thing. Oh, Steph Curry, you're amazing. And you're the best and most dominant for a little guy. But there's a greater conversation. Sure. You now have to put yourself in the conversation with the Michael Jordans, the Kobe Bryants, Shaquille O'Neal's, et cetera. And when you put him in that conversation, not the small tent one, the big one for mm -hmm. everybody mm -hmm. on the main field, Steph Curry just doesn't measure up. We don't got to put Steph in a small tent. I want to put him in a compound. Oh, that's why I want to put him. So, three questions for you, sir. Do men lie? Yes. Do women lie? All the time. But numbers, <laughs> do they lie? Uh, no, they're not supposed These to. These numbers never don't lie. lie. I hear you, Slick. We are talking very complex about Steph Curry. My grandma always told me the truth is simple and lies are complex. I don't think you're lying right now, but I just understand, you need to understand that it's not that simple because everything about Steph Curry being dominant is not being truthful. Hmm. Okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk defensively first. Let's just get him out this conversation fast. Because Acho educated us, and I love it. He went up there and, and actually made me think twice about my points. And he, he went up there and talked about points accounted for, which put Steph Curry in a completely different conversation. But if Acho was able to flip that big board around and see the other side, what about points given up? <laughs> what about, oh, when we need Clay Thompson to play defense for you, Steph, so therefore, Clay, you may suffer offensively so that Steph can get his? Or what about the times where Iggy had to take that role and that's why Iggy won the finals MVP, et cetera? That's one layer to get Steph Curry out of the same level, vertically, of dominant conversation. Here's another one. When you lost KD, how did things go? Um, until like now, finals. until now, it didn't go so well. When you lost Klay Thompson, how did things go? Well, until back now, back, yeah, they're back here right now. That's the beauty. You're making my point. He's had so many different cores. Draymond Green, when he got knocked out, uh, ejected for one game, they lost that series. When Draymond was hurt this year, they lost their way. So what I'm trying to say is, if you want to use your superhero analogy, He's like a Batman. Like, Batman has some superpowers. Whatever's on that belt, something's powerful, right? <laughs> but then if you talk to these nerds out here about superpowers <laughs> and the levels, they don't like Batman like I like Batman. Just like Steph Curry doesn't belong on that same level as the top players in our game. My last point is this. Steph Curry has been questioned time and time again if he's the dominant force for his team. And if that's been at one time... KD, and then at one time the collection of Clay and Draymond with Steph, then that is another thing that differentiates him from everyone else we're talking about. Because everyone else on here was unquestionably 
the leader of their team when they needed them most, even in clutch moments when they would defer. God. I'm sorry. Slick. I'm sorry. My only... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not let his likeability make us rank him higher. Why okay? not? Let's Why not do not? that. All right? Why not? Thank Why you. not? Because Why that's not? not what sports does. Sports balances out all of these inequities. I don't does care how it? tall you are, how small you are, whatever. It's not how big, fast, strong you are. It's how you play the game. And I'm only going to measure Steph Curry on how he plays the game. Not because he has a heart and not because he has great character. So y'all should root for the fact that he's small and doesn't need a handicap. But y'all keep trying to give him that small 10 handicap. You're actually hurting him with good intentions. We'll get back to this conversation, because numbers lie, you sure, Acho, or do they not lie? Because I'm looking right here, he has zero finals MVPs. Maybe that's a lie. I don't know. Coming up, Aaron Rodgers says he's only playing in Green Bay the rest of his career. Damn.